Hey everybody, Taylor here with Axis Vehicles. We are back with a transit trail, a mid-roof window van. We're gonna do a full walk around for you. Uh, we'll do the exterior first, then we'll do the interior. Uh, but a quick recap on the transit trails. So there's a little bit of some rumors going out there and I don't know if they're actually correct or not, but the transit trails I believe are discontinued for 2025. So you'll just be going back to the regular transit. Uh, if you wanted the trail, don't fear. We've been building something similar to the trail for almost nine years. And so what the trail came with, it came with an appearance package. So the wheels, the side steps, the fender flares, the front bumper, and it came with a two inch lift. And so everything else for a regular transit, we can spec. Uh, so if the spec is the same and we have to add some aftermarket goodies to make it similar, what do we do? For the lift, we can either add a Q lift or a Van Compass lift. We also do aftermarket wheels, bigger tires, uh, and we spec all the vans with HID lights, fog lights. We get the EcoBoost Twin Turbo, which has got a ton of power. It's an all-wheel drive. We get the extended fuel range tank and the tow package, as well as the swivel seats and the Sync 4 infotainment system that Ford has which includes CarPlay. So if you haven't experienced CarPlay yet, it's pretty awesome. You basically connect your phone to the screen and it mimics what your phone does uh, on the big screen on the dashboard. So pretty cool. All right, back to this build. Uh, awesome customers, super active outdoorsy family based out of Bellingham, Washington. So if you're up there, you'll see them mountain biking and skiing and doing all that fun stuff. Uh, 2024 Ford Transit Trail in the carbonized gray. Uh, they opted for a window van, which again is such an awesome upgrade. Uh, we do AMA windows for our window upgrades. So this one here, you can see it has a slider, pretty good size with a screen and then glass all the way around. Also on this side, this is the Ford Factory Trail Wheel. Uh, you can buy these aftermarket if you just get a regular transit and like this wheel, uh, but they're insanely expensive. Uh, we'll walk you through all the options if you're interested and you can make the choice if you wanna go that direction. Uh, Goodyear Workhorse 8T tire in a 245, 65, uh, 16, or sorry, 245, 75, 16, which is standard. It's about a 30 inch, 30 and a half inch tire. Uh, we can put all the way up to a 265, 75, 16 tire on these vehicles once they're lifted. Uh, we have to do some pretty heavy modifications to the fender flares um, and the wheel wells, but for the most part, uh, they fit with no rubbing. We also add a wheel spacer so they don't rub on the inside of the front strut, uh, but uh, that's about a 31 and a half inch tire. And it's actually about the most perfect size aesthetically for these trails when they're lifted. All right, this is the trail sidestep. Uh, so again, probably not available on a regular transit. However, there's a whole bunch of aftermarket support for these. So if you want a sidestep, we usually go with the flatline van sidesteps, which are real similar. Around the front, flatline vans nudge bar. Another thing the trail has is these three lights right here and a little bit of a different restyled grill and a little bit of a different restyled bumper. Nothing too crazy. Factory fog lights, HID factory lights, which are awesome. Crazy amounts of light for a factory light, which is great. Going along this side, another set of AMA windows, flatline van side ladder. And then why don't we head up top, show you what we got going on with this one. So we got two Max fans, one in the rear, one in the front. This is the Flatline Vanco Low Pro Roof Rack. Two Zamp 95 watt panels. And then you can't see it, but tucked over on the other side is the Fiamma awning. So you got two options for awnings from Fiamma for this rack, a 10 and a half and an 11 and a half foot. The 10 and a half foot tucks neatly 
the length of the rack. The 11 and a half, it sticks out a little longer in the front, but it allows you to have full coverage on the side door. All right. Shore power connection. So you can plug into your house, top everything off, and then a portable solar connection as well, in case you want to add additional solar. And around the back, we took the factory spare tire, sorry, factory spare wheel, powder coated them black. That was originally underneath here. And then we purchased a matching Goodyear tire. So they have a full size spare. That's mounted to a flatline Vanco rear tire carrier. Okay, let's go inside. This is a revolver build with bamboo. It's beautiful. They have some cool upgrades. All right, so sidestep, it's our custom sidestep trim right here. They opted for a two tech two floor. This is a textured floor, it's woven. Uh, we tested this in our own van for about a year. It has been awesome. It feels really good on the feet. It has a felt backer, so you have a little bit of a thermal break on those cold nights. And uh, it looks really cool. They have a couple other different colors as well with stripes and all sorts of things. So uh, it's a bit of an upgrade. It's only about, um, I don't know the exact price off the top of my head, but it's not, not a huge upgrade, but it's a really great floor. Give us a ring if you got any questions. Okay, our lagoon table mounted right here on the B pillar. This stows on the front of the galley right over here. So you can see those brackets there. That stows neatly there. Got a USB and a 12 volt plug. Looking into the cockpit, the dual swivels are factory. This is the sync system screen. So really big screen, huge amount of visibility for backing up and really easy to navigate when you're driving. Okay, the kitchen galley. So we build everything out of aluminum. So we have a full aluminum cage and then wrap it in either bamboo or Baltic plywood and laminate, depending on what you guys are interested in. South co-locking latches. Full extension drawer slides, soft close. With all these locking latches here, this whole unit acts like a safe. So when you're out hiking or surfing or doing whatever you're doing, you can put your valuables in there and it's gonna be real hard for someone to break in. Dovetail drawers. We have an Indel B fridge. Lots of space in here. Stainless steel sink. Lift up pantry. Our control panels. We've got an Eber Spocker. Sorry, it's kind of a mouthful. Uh, B4 heater. So this is a petrol heater plumbed directly into the fuel tank. So you have single source fueling. Uh, so yes, it is powered off gas. You have the exhaust port here, which is directional. Uh, Red Arc Manager 30 on this build. This controls the charging off the alternator, charging off AC power, as well as charging off of your solar panels and controls it all, which gives you a full readout on how much energy is going in and going out. We've been using Red Arc for uh, close to six or seven years and have had amazing luck with them. They have just introduced uh, their new Alpha Manager 100, and that allows you to charge your house batteries uh, three times the speed of what the regular Manager 30 can do. So if you opt for a huge battery bank, we can charge it wicked fast. Uh, charging and um, uh, pump switch for the sink carbon monoxide and propane gas detector. Uh, these folks opted for an inverter. 
So here is the Red Arc 2000 watt inverter. And then that power is this outlet here, our breaker panel. And then this outlet here is powered directly when you're plugged into shore power. So that allows you, if you're camping at friends and you don't want to run your inverter log term or you're storing it, to still have power in here without running the inverter the whole time. As far as additional cubbies, we've got two cubbies back here for additional storage. We've got our Wilderness Vans Broad Arrow 1300 trifold seat. We've been using these seats for quite a few years as well. Uh, we've got a custom <clears throat> system where we mount everything through L-Track on the floor, which allows you to uh, either move the seat back and forth or take it out completely. If you wanna go to uh, a vehicle with out a uh, bed down low and have a huge garage area uh, or move it forward and uh, give you some more trunk space in the back. Okay, we've got our van made window covers on the one, two windows in the back and then two more windows here. Our vans come standard with all the van made gear window coverings. They're insulated and uh, they break down really nice and easily. Okay, upper cabinet, eight feet long, two doors, four cubbies. Also doubles as a pull-up bar if you want to do pull-ups on it. For the ceiling, beautiful bamboo ceiling. All our lights are marine gray, lunacy, dimmable lights. So you can set the mood. Max fan 7500K, front and rear. Additional reading lights up here. And then we've got our rear bunk, which folds out to over six feet long, six feet wide, rests right here with a Rome rest cushion, multi-density, super comfy. So when the beds are deployed, this lower seat bed turns into a six foot long, 52 inch wide bed. And then you have that upper six by six bed up top. So you have full bunk style. Uh, if you're a young family, you can get five people in there. And then we know folks that have stuffed up to six. So you have three on top, two on the bottom, one on the floor. I might choose the floor. Uh, all right, what else do we have to talk about up here before we go around the back? I think that is it. Again, AMA window, screen. Let's cruise around the back. All right, so lots of room in the back for all your gear. With the trifold seat, you're able to lift this up or put it down. So if you need something big to pass back here, or you're stuffing bikes in here or whatever else, lots of extra room. Our L-Track system, which is reinforced underneath the van with hat brackets for the length of the L-Track. Our corner panel. Uh, corner cabinet, which is removable. Then we got a cargo light. And then in here is access to all of our electricals. So in here, we've got all of our fuse panels. It's all marine grade. It's all shrink wrapped, soldered, heat shrunk, crimped, main battery on off switch, and then the massive 200 and 70 amp hour Battleborn battery. Uh, sometimes if you want, you can go with two of these and get 540 amp hours. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can go really big. It's kind of dark in there. Well, that's about it for this one. It's awesome build for an awesome family. If you're in Bellingham, keep an eye out for it. Great folks. Can't forget the sticker. Old school stickers on this one keeping it stealthy. We've got a couple other builds we're gonna do some videos on here pretty soon. The uh, next transit that we'll feature is a really big build. It might be one of our biggest yet. It is um, an almost four inch lift on an all wheel drive transit. 
high roof, it is done to the nines. It is a beautiful, beautiful van. Um, so stay tuned for that. We should have that uh, ready for video in about a week or so. So if you got any questions, give us a shout, accessvehicles.com. Hope you guys have a great day.